Hey, all my friends, so good to see you guys again. Ash here with GenSense. Hope it's going well wherever you are. Got in a package the other day, just a couple days ago actually, from Twisted Lily, and it is the new Mancera Intense Cedret Boise. This thing's been out for a minute, but us in the good old USA couldn't really get it until here recently, unless you wanted to cough up an arm and a leg. I had a lot of you guys actually hit me up and ask me why I hadn't covered it, so my bad, but now I got it, so here we are. This is gonna be a glorified first impression. Like I said, only had it a couple days, only worn it a couple times, so I can't really give you guys a huge breakdown, but I can let you guys know what I think about it and how it's going so far. So in the video, I'll show you guys the presentation, let you know how it compares or stacks up to the original, let you know if this is worth a little bit of a markup to get this one instead of the original, and also if it's redundant. So let's jump into it, let's check it out. Intense Cedret Boise. Let's go ahead and kick things off with the presentation. Here you got the box, nothing to write home about. It's just your standard Mancera box. You got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration right there on the front. This is an extrait de parfum. Nothing up top, nothing on the sides. Ingredient information on the back and a sweet misprint. Mancera, come on dudes. It says Eau de Parfum on the back, but it is actually an extrait de parfum. Then on the bottom, you have your badge code. Badge code here, 21L354D. Because Mancera is no longer playing in 3D, they're playing in 4D. Then of course you have the little Mancera pouch on the inside of the box that you can put your bottle into, I guess, if you wanna take it with you and, and look fancy. You can just put the bottle in there and, and you got a pouch. And I imagine a lot of people use these like the Crown Royal pouches. And here we have the bottle. Looks pretty much the exact same as the original Cedrat Boise, only this one says intense on the front in case you forgot. And the cap is the newer style. So it's magnetic, which is much nicer. Has the different uh, newer Mancera logo up on top of the cap there. And then you have your badge code on the bottom of the glass. Back in my day, you had to unscrew the, the Mancera cap. None of this magnetic nonsense. Atomizers are a lot better nowadays too than the old ones. These ones are pressurized, check it out. Ooh, nice. Of course, there was the added benefit of the old bottles where you could unscrew it pretty easily right here and just take the whole top out and then you could decant the bottle really easily but that's about the only thing that was better on the old ones. So at full retail, a 120 milliliter size bottle, which is what I have right here of Intense to Drap Boise, is 200 US dollars. By comparison, the original, same size, was 180 US dollars. So roughly like an 11% difference in price between the original to this one. And if you're looking for this one, you can buy it from twistedlily.com, same place that I got mine. You can use the code GENTS10 to save yourself 10% off. That's good for the entire website, or of course, just this fragrance if you just wanted this. So that's GENTS10, twistedlily.com. Use that whenever you shop there. So I imagine a lot of you guys are just wondering, hey, is this basically just an intense version of the original? Is it worth it? And also how intense are we talking here? Well, apparently, this is a 45% concentration, which is completely insane to me. 45%, yeah. The original Cidre Boise is not a weak fragrance. This doesn't have terrible performance. It lasts a long time, it projects heavily. It's the type of fragrance that if you spray it on pretty heavily, you're gonna choke people out. Like it's legitimately considered a beast mode fragrance to a lot of people. And Mancera said, you know what would be great? Is if we took that, right? And then we take it not to 11, but to 12. Just as heavy as we can get it, let's do that. And it is sort of a, a sign of the times where you see these niche fragrances, these niche fragrance companies taking very popular releases of theirs and doing flankers, doing either spin-off versions like Interlude Black Iris or heavily, heavily concentrated versions of the fragrances like this one or Interlude 53. Interlude's great. You can just throw that in when you're talking about niche fragrances because it's got both types. A really high concentration version of the fragrance? Yes. A different iteration of the fragrance? Also yes. Now with this fragrance, when I got it in, I opened up the box like this and I could immediately smell it. Yeah, it wasn't leaking, no leakage at all, thankfully, but I could smell it coming up, permeating through the box. 
and I knew right away, oh, this is gonna be a doozy. When you first spray it on, you get that sweetness, that fruity blast, that bit of freshness from the original Sidrap Waze, but here it smells better, smoother, richer. The woodiness here, a little bit more pronounced for me in the opening. It doesn't come across quite as synthetic as the original does. It just smells overall better. So yes, in the opening, Intense Sidrap Waze does come across kind of like you would expect. Sidrap Waze ramped up, given more power, given more richness, more depth, and what smells like a higher price tag in terms of price per kilogram. Now, of course, it's gonna be that because of the concentration, but overall, it just smells better, better put together, better quality, better everything. So with this one, you're gonna get black currant, giving you that tartness, offsetting a little bit of the fresh sweetness from the citrus in the opening, smells fantastic. The woodiness is there immediately, as I said, and it comes out more and more as the fragrance dries down. A little bit of jasmine that you pick up in the mid, but not heavy handedly. The leathery facet from the original Sidrap Waze, that is here, but it's not as potentially off-putting. Now, the original Sidrap Waze, I don't at all think is a hard to wear fragrance. I don't think it's a divisive fragrance, but some people don't like the leather note that's in there. The leather that's in this one, is offset more by the woodiness because the woodiness again to me is ramped up so it's kind of stepping in taking the place of the leather note from the original now one thing you might be wondering is is intense it's a little bit funky a little bit off-putting you know you went to fragrantica or somewhere like that you looked at the note breakdown you saw that there's oud in there and i think fragrantica put specifically animalic notes, which I don't think is actually on the official note breakdown from Mancera. But anyway, you looked at that and you thought, did they take Sidrap Waze and do to this what they did to Leighton with Leighton Exclusive? You know, taking that DNA and interjecting funkiness and animalic pissiness or fecal notes and make it more dark and foreboding and difficult to wear? No. No, <laughs> that's that's the answer, no. You will get woodiness, just not of that dark, foreboding, mysterious nature that you might expect looking at that note breakdown. So even though it does have that suede leather, it does have that woodiness, it doesn't come across harsh. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear anything, uh, but we just got a big storm <laughs> that started to roll through here. So uh, hopefully the power stays on so I can get through this. In terms of power, projection, longevity, it's what you would expect. First off, it's Mancera. We know Mancera puts out powerful fragrances that last a long time, that project heavily, that people can easily pick up. This is no exception. Intense Citra Poise is sick in terms of performance. So you're absolutely gonna get that bang for your buck here. Again, 120 milliliters, 200 bucks after 10% off 180, really not bad, at least as far as niche pricing goes. Does it last longer than the original? Yes, off my skin, absolutely it does. Does it project more than the original? Again, yes. Sometimes when you ramp up the, the concentration, the projection actually goes down. There are a lot of different fragrances out there where the Eau de Toilette version will actually project further than the Eau de Parfum or the Parfum version. That's not the case here. Now, as I showed you before, the atomizer on this sprays out a really fine mist which is good, it gives you a feeling of luxury, a feeling of quality when you use the atomizer, but do keep in mind that uh, it may not hit you as concentratedly, is that a word? Yeah, as the uh, original one with the crappier atomizer. You'll get a more even distribution with this one as opposed to just kind of blasting certain spots, is what I'm saying. Kind of off on a, a wandering tangent there, but the reason I bring that up is uh, sometimes with some atomizers, you know, you'll get a hyper concentrated blast in one spot and then you'll smell that one spot and be like, oh yeah, this is really strong. And then you'll get a different fragrance that, you know, gets a fine mist all over a certain area and it may not hit you as strongly when you go to smell it, but in the air, it is pumping and people can pick it up easily. So projection here above average, longevity above average. In terms of seasons, more spring and fall, you can wear it during summer. I mean, it has freshness to it, but it's so strong and it does have that sweetness to it that you really have to keep that in mind. You don't wanna spray a ton on, you go out there in really high heat situations and just choke out and obliterate everybody near you. You know, having newborn babies start crying and then stop crying because they can no longer breathe because you're intense to drap it's just too intense. So keep that in mind. 
summer, maybe, you know, you hit yourself with a spray, spray and a half, something like that. And in terms of performance, yeah, you could absolutely pull this off during the winter easily. It's not the type of scent that people are gonna think of as a winter fragrance, because usually people think of things that are more, you know, ambery, warm, spicy, you know, tobacco and, and really dark and things like that. You know, tobacco and dark, duh. But it does have enough pop that you could easily pull this off during the winter if you wanted. In terms of daytime or nighttime use, it leans more toward daytime use. Big surprise. So overall, is it redundant to own this if you own this? Well, kind of. It's very similar to this. It's just basically the original made better. So if you don't own the original, I would say get this one. Don't even mess with the original, frankly. And if you love the original, you'll love this probably even more. Now, of course, like I always say, all of this goes with a little grain of salt. I did just get this in. I've only been able to wear it a couple times. So as time goes, I'll be able to wear the fragrance more. We'll see how it develops. We'll see how it grows on me and all that stuff. But as I'm sitting here today, first impressions, this makes the original for me obsolete. I can't imagine really any times that I would want to wear the original over this one. I just think it's a better put together fragrance. I think it smells better. The additional woodiness in here makes it smell a little more luxurious to me, a little bit higher end, smoother, not as high pitched when you first spray it on. It doesn't have any screechiness to it. It's just really well done. And the price difference is minuscule, really. An 11% difference, who cares? So there we go, Intense to Drap Waze. One of those times where I think the flanker actually outperforms the original in basically every way I can think. One of those times where the intense actually is what it says it is. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you for hanging with me. Thank you for your support. Stay safe out there and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. We made it through, yes.